Ladies and gentlemen, like always, I'm sorry if you hear wind, it is super hot, but folks, welcome back to the SSWE, the intro didn't play for some reason, I am back, uh, sorry for the kind of sporadic streams and, and uploads on YouTube especially, uh, <clears throat> I have had the worst headaches the past week, so I'm basically cutting out caffeine. And when you cut out caffeine, guess what happens? You also get headaches for up to ten, nine days. So now I'm feeling okay. I'm feeling better. I still have a little headache, but I'm going to push through for your entertainment because the Royal Rumble is coming up. Santa Clara, California is where we are, and the Awesomes are now at Civil War. Oh my god. They haven't come out alone in a long time, ever since the followers of The Voice. These two have always put up great matches. Now these two men have put up a fight here. Blankface actually beat Jay Prime in their last match. But this is going to be a new match here. A brutal match. These two are going to take it to the Royal Rumble. Now I don't know who officially is going to be in the Royal Rumble yet. I think I'm going to keep it a secret so it will be fun to see them come out. Because there will be some legends of course. There will be some surprise appearances. Whoever wins the Royal Rumble, of course, gets the main event against the Undisputed Champ. And the Cowboy is here. The new Vegas resident. Is he talking? I can't tell if he's talking. He's wearing a mask. J Prime, very strategic, very practical, a very, very, uh, I guess, all around good, whereas Blank Face is an insane high flyer here. J Prime seems overwhelmed by the stadium here. I don't know what that was. I'm trying to smell his breath through the helmet. Of course, J Prime. Future Hall of Famer. I can't wait for Royal Rumble. I can't believe we're here. I'm so glad I started fresh with this universe because for some reason we didn't have Elimination Chamber, Royal Rumble, and everything. So, yeah, that would have sucked. But I'm excited for Royal Rumble. I'm going to be honest, I wish I can choose who I want to win it because I do have a story I want to do. But. Maybe, maybe it'll happen. We'll see. Of course, they do have a 1 in 30 chance to win. The bell has been rung. Two former friends here trading blows instantly, countering each other. Jay Prime. My lord, blank face. Jay Prime on the top rope. An elbow from the top already, leaving blank face stunned. J Prime's elbows of doom here. Never mind. I don't know why I sound like a slap. Blank face. Ooh. Like I said, Blank face's acrobatics are phenomenal. J Prime's, uh, what's it called? Purest wrestling form is also phenomenal. Two, two uh, different fighting styles clashing. It's sort of like the original fighting style. Versus the modern day fighting style. Who do you guys prefer? Ooh! Blank face using the legs. J Prime knowing the legs are the weapons of Blank face. Oh my lord! Blank face falls, so J Prime finally stops. But Blank face counters both men. Recovering insanely. Ooh! 
Blank face dodge out of the way, but Jake Prime clotheslines Blank face. Again, another brutal clothesline going for the pin. And almost an easy win for Jay Prime there, folks. That would have been kind of depressing. Oh, what is Jay Prime doing here? Oh, Blank Face simply moves out the way of the leg drop. Now Blank Face is literally on top here. I think he's going for a submission, but Jay Prime did get out of it. Oh my gosh. Blank Face is on the top. He just hit his finisher. Going for the pin here. Blank face almost pulling out a second win with Blank face v J Prime 2. Part 2, I guess. That, I think that sounds less confusing because saying 2 means you think J Prime has 2 points or something. Oh my lord, look at this combo. Look at these combos. Blank face just has to take them. Oh, J Prime is making Blank face bleed. J Prime seems to be on. Oh my lord! The quick thinking on Blank Face's behalf. Oh, throwing J Prime with the Hurricane Rana. Blank Face specialty right there is what I like to call it. Oh no, the sunset flip. Oh my god, how does that not break J Prime's neck? I don't know. Blank Face is deadly. My God, Blank Face! What is Blank Face doing? What is he trying to do here? A springboard! Oh, he missed. He's too far, but he drops J Prime on the ground nonetheless. Quick thinking. Oh! Of course, Blank Face knows J Prime's clotheslines, so he is able to easily go under it. Oh. Oh, is Blank Face setting up the 619, gentlemen and ladies? Oh, and he connected. Blank Face might get the win here. Going for the pin. Almost another win for Blank Face. Blank Face. Uh oh. Blank Face is doing something here. Oh, a leg drop from the heavens, but it missed. J Prime, J Prime with the punches and slaps. Ooh, the back, the sidewalk slam. Like nothing. This is easy for J Prime here. Oh. Now he has blank face in the corner. Oh, what was that? That was awkward. Blank face is bleeding. You can't see, obviously, but he is bleeding. I'd like to remind you guys that J Prime is not holding back. Neither is Blank face, though. Oh, neither is J Prime, though. What the? Wow. That was a phenomenal move. J Prime got countered, but then J Prime countered and got Blank face back where he was. Oh. I don't know. Oh, Blank face. Narrowly avoided a big boot and it hit a scorpion DDT on J Prime. Uh oh, Blank Face is going to the top. Oh, this has to be it, ladies and gentlemen. Blank Face won their part two of their match. My lord, what an insane match! J Prime, this was so close, but I think J Prime. Him missing that big boot really cost him the match here. Here is your winner, the This is the type of victory. A pretty big win for Blank Face. I think we could be seeing a future world champion here, ladies and gentlemen. I won't get too far ahead of myself. But Blank Face is doing well. J Prime, I'm surprised. He put up a good fight. There's no cutscene, which is kind of dumb. 
Now here is some storyline folks. The father and JC have been having problems with E. coli and Critical. The new tag team champions. J Pri JC and the father want those titles. And Alex Boogie and Nick CC have been issues with the Essentials, Watchman and Sonar Star. So they said screw it. Let's have the entire Doom family come together and have their two enemies team up. Because the Essentials and E. coli and Critical, I feel like, is a very good team. Now, this is definitely a star-studded match. I mean, my lord. You're looking at over 2.5 million U.S. dollars right here. I mean, that's how much crazy talent we have in the ring right now. Eight men. Four on each team. Two teams. Tag team. This is going to be a brutal match. This is not elimination tag team because that would take way too long. This is, of course, a normal tag team match. It might take a while for the people to come out, but that's okay. You cannot load perfection quickly. Is that what he calls it? I'm going to have some wine right now. Yummy, yummy. Some lukewarm wine because my fridge isn't working. Like good, good bubble. So I can uh, <laughs> have some time pass while we're waiting for these contestants to come out. We told them what time the match would start. They should be ready by now. Slackers. Oh, sorry. I hope they didn't hear that. The following contest is an eight-man tag team match. Introducing first at a combined weight of seven hundred fifty-two pounds. Oh my god. Of course, for some reason, the, follower, the father isn't in the entrance. He should be, but I think I think just certain choices, you can't have more than three. Because, like, the mutants is the NWO entrance, and obviously there's more than three members. So, maybe they just can't add a fourth person in this entrance. Which kind of sucks, because they look all, all of them would look cool. All three, of, all four of them walking out. Nick C is the hardcore title holder still. Even after dark matches, Boogie finally has a cool looking cape. Some good wine right there. Sparkling La Rosa. Definitely, definitely recommend there. I believe that is the rose in France. I mean in in Italian. Because I am Italian and I also speak Spanish. I don't speak Italian, but it's similar to Spanish. Alright, can the contestants please come out? I'm tired of stalling for time. Alright, here we go. Oh my god. Now why is there selfie stick? Why does it have cotton candy on? I gotta say, those titles look really good on them. These two are phenomenal. They came out of a brutal match at TLC against three other teams. And they deserve the win. Although some would debate the father should have gotten the win because he pinned at the same time, but the ref didn't count it properly. Father and Boogie getting on the ring synchronized. Very interesting sight here. Oh my god. Critical is flexing the cash. Oh god, even though I heard YouTube doesn't pay well. But I get, I, if he does get paid well, he deserves it. 
This is just, I like I like I like critical. He's a good competitor. He's always here. He never gets injured, and he he single-handedly defeated opponents stronger than him, statistically stronger than him, making him higher on the food chain. And E. Coli, of course, is literally his creation. Now we only have the heroes to go. I I don't have more to talk about. Can they please come out? Please. I'm not that entertaining. This is gonna be good. Thank God. Now the Doom fan, the Doom family, of course. The Doom family has the advantage here because they're literally all four of them a family. Seem more serious than ever. And at a combined weight of 494 pounds, the Syndicate. Ever since I took my spot here at the commentary table, I have wanted to call this match. I cannot wait to finally do it. The essentials, of course, are the heroes. They seem more dark, but they are the good guys. Watchman is known to be dark. Sonar Star is kind of energetic. With his beautiful cape, my dad. He's, he's got a great outfit. I gotta say, the glowingness is pretty cool. Watchman, of course, has all the gadgets he needs. My god. I'm not sure what I'm looking at here. The heroes. I'm glad there are heroes and not our villains. Although our villains have been making moves, so it's a real lose. Oh my God! Look at this star-studded fandom here. We got Boogie and Charlie. Oh my Lord, Charlie! Now, Team Moist and the Doom Brigade, JC and the Father, have put up a pretty mediocre fight against them last time, but that's because they did. They were not used to the SSWE ring. They're used to their Meme Federation ring. But now, they seem more comfortable with it, considering Charlie literally started off with a springboard elbow dive move. So this will be a better match. Oh my gosh! What was that? His fist or his elbow? I don't know what that was. Going for a quick bin here. The father is pretty angered. Oh! The father's gonna get him disqualified. He needs to be careful here. Uh-oh. Father needs my lord, that would have been depressing. Star studded match ended like that. Oh my gosh, critical playing possum to Boogie. Oh, the knee takes a big hit in off the tag. Critical tagging in his very creation, E. coli here. Interesting for him to not tag in one of the heroes. Because the oh my lord, because the heroes have been attacking Boogie and Nixie C here. But he co oh my gosh! What are these men on? E. coli, the agility, the speed, the madman. Uh oh, he's bringing Boogie to the corner here, the danger zone. But Boogie gets out of the danger zone. E. coli has the. I don't know how tall he is, but he's taller than everyone in the ring, except Sonar Star, maybe. Oh, Nixie C, the high flyer, taking on E. coli, the high flyer. E. coli knows the sink, swings all DDT all too well. Oh no, E. coli is taking Nixie C to the danger zone. How unfortunate, we won't see the two high flyers fight each other. We do have Watchman and Nixie C. Nixie C does have his work cut out for him. Oh! Watchman threw Nixie C's head on E. coli's head, making E. coli technically headbutt Nixie C. Oh my god, a power, power slam out of nowhere. Critical is putting up a very good fight right now. Oh my god, what is he doing? I, 
I think I should be impressed by that. He jumped so high, he jumped over Nick's CC. Which I know he didn't mean to do that, but still. Uh oh, the father is in the ring now. But critical is, I don't know what is going on, but his momentum is insane. Critical. Putting up a great fight. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Critical just dropped the foot on Father's face. The Father and Watchman. Who would have thought that this match would happen? The Father just stuck on the ropes. Oh no. Oh, Watchman is planning something. What is Watchman? What a psychopath! He isn't even a high flyer, and you dove through the ropes. That's that's hard to do to dive through the ropes. That's very dangerous. There's have been there have been very bad injuries. The father quickly taking Watchman down. Watchman was not anticipating that, even though he is a very tactical mind. Oh, the father throwing Watchman in the ring here. Father for sure. Oh, the spinning punch of doom. That could be it, but the father is not going to stop. He is relentless here. Not even a watchman can withstand these. Wait, what happened there? The father broke his hand or something? I don't know. Watchman showing some combos of his own. Tagging in E. coli, e. coli and JC. Who would have thought? Oh my god. What did I just look at? He just separated E. coli's collarbone. He cut it in half. Or I guess cut it in a, a quarter. I don't know how that works. JC tagging in Boogie to do it. Oh my gosh. A super toss into the turnbuckle here. E. coli has the... Never mind. Boogie has the upper hand. Father's in the ring. Boogie dropping E. coli. Now Boogie has the upper hand here. Tags and Nixie see the Doom family. What is the father doing? Oh my god! Nixie C just hit E. coli in the nuts! He just did a 50 foot drop from the heavens! Oh Nixie C! What a madman! E. coli! Redirecting Nixie C. E. coli sees Nixie C is a strong opponent. He wants out. Nixie C versus E. coli. I think that's the new dream match. The two high flyers. Look at the strength. That's not even it. He's doing the three amigos. The trace amigos. My God. Critical must have felt like he got hit by a car multiple times. Nixie C tried to set up for something there, but Critical was too quick. Oh, a roll up! Sonar Star, I don't know how he instantly noticed. Sonar Star hasn't even been tagged in. Maybe that's for the best, because he literally has superpowers. I guess you can argue E. coli has superpowers. Uh oh. Uh oh. Nixie sees a superhuman if he can absorb this and kick out. Oh, that's gotta be it, folks. A sweet chin music. Nixie sees brother Boogie helps him out. Critical quickly elbowing Nixie C to ruin his momentum. He doesn't want Nixie C to stand up. Watchman is in the ring. Nixie C is standing up and now has the upper hand here. The kicks, the chops. Look at this madman. Nixie C with the kicks. Now he's going to tag in Boogie. Very interesting here. You can see what's doing very well. I don't know why you tag out so quick. Critical playing possum yet again. Going for the pin. Boogie kicked out on his own accord. Right there. But the Doom family doesn't. Oh my lord, a diamond cutter. Oh, mother of God. We are about to see hell itself. 
within this man. You can't even comprehend it, but this is what hell looks like. Critical. I don't think he's ready for the sister Abigail. Kiss goodnight. He's ready for the sister Abigail. Critical is so nice to let Boogie kiss, kiss his forehead, but he wasn't nice enough to let it hit. He's going for a roll up. Oh my gosh, Boogie almost got the pin via roll up there. Boogie is now brutalizing Critical. I don't blame him. When you connect your finisher like that, it's kind of hard to not be irritated if they counter it. But at the same time, they're not going to just take it. They're going to do everything they can. The father is now tagged in here. Critical is now the underdog. He's just been beat up. He's just been getting jumped. Oh my god. They debuting father's elbow. And he connects effortlessly. Going for the pin. Watchman breaking it up. But that could have been it. Oh no, the the running temple to the skull. Critical's just not dead. This is gonna be it, ladies and gentlemen. If his teammates don't help him kick out, Critical's creation comes to save him from a loss. Now the father's just picking up E. coli. What is the father doing? The father took too long and E. coli slipped out. Like the disease he is. Oh, Critical saving his creation! This wasn't the father's fault. I believe the father had the win. But like I said, Critical also has teammates to help him kick out. What is Boogie doing in the ring? <laughs> that distracted Critical to not tagging his teammate. Oh my gosh, the slap hurt around the world. Oh! Oh my gosh! What an insane maneuver there. He dodged out the way and then he jumped on his turbo barrage with the strikes. Going for the pin. The father wants to win. I didn't mean for that to rhyme, but Watchman saves it again. That's interesting. The father could have gotten the win, but for some reason, the Doom family aren't helping him. They aren't protecting him while he's pinning. Oh no. That's a knee to the nuts. Oh my gosh, that's not legal. Oh, what was that? What was that clap noise? The father's thinking of his next move, but he could not connect. Uh oh. Oh, the father's awaiting the deathly kick of doom. And he connects. This could be it for the father. Nixie C helping the father out. Nixie C needs to get out of the ring. Nixie C needs to get out of the ring. That critical is destroying two of the four Doom members. The Watchman is now in here. Oh my lord, Watchman has some. The father. Oh my gosh. The Watchman putting the father in a sharpshooter. And he has it connected. There's no way out except his own son. The Watcher's gonna go for the pin now. JC helps the Doom Brothers. He hasn't been doing much this whole match. JC and Sonar Star. There's so much happening in the ring right now. Nixie C's tagged in. So it's Nick. Okay, it's Nixie C and Watch right now. E. is the only one on the road. Sonar Star's hungry for action. Look at this Nixie C maneuver. The father's in once again. I don't know if it's a smart move. He hasn't had time to rest properly from that brutal beating he's been getting. The father just made Watchman bleed. Nixie C just gave Sonar Shark a concussion. And E. coli is now in the mix. Green versus green. Not in the bad way. The literal color. Oh! The father slipped out of the finisher of E. coli. Which I don't remember what it's called, but it's a pretty crazy move. Critical is in again. Oh my god, this is Critical and E. coli's the match. This is Critical and E. coli versus everybody. I guess they are proving that they're the best tag team, the new 
best tag team. Oh my gosh. Dropping the father on his nuts so he can't make any more children. Going for the pin. Oh, the father grabs the ropes. Finally, the ref notices. My god, the last three times that happened, the ref still counted for some reason. The father's just crawling away here. Critical's distracted. Boogie is now in the ring. Oh! Boogie just blocking Critical's clothesline here. What am I looking at here? Oh my god. He's just choking, breaking Critical's neck. What? Is he gonna hit the... Oh my... I thought he was gonna hit a jackhammer. Critical's crawling away. Boogie needs to... Oh no, the fresh man superstar. A super kick to start it off, going for the pin. Oh my god, Sonar Star almost won with his one move. What is this, a Roman Reigns match? My god. What was that? Sonar Star. Did it. Oops, sorry. I accidentally pressed, the, pressed that button. Sonar Star has not fought in this match at all. Oh, he's gonna put Sonar Star in a sharpshooter now. Oh my god. But if he's in the he's literally right next to enemy territory. But he's gonna go for the pin. Critical stomped on Sonar Star's head to break the count. I'm not sure how that works. Yeah, I don't think this match is ever gonna end. Where's JC all by the way? Why is JC dead on the ground behind the the essentials and critical and demoist. What is going on? Look at the strength. Look at the strength of this man. But it doesn't even matter. A scorpion BDT. Boogie clapping the sonar stars pecs together. Targeting his sonar arm. Very smart to do. Oh my god. What is he doing? He's just stomping on his face. Boogie's relentless here. Sonar Star immediately coming back with a punch with the sonar arm. He could get the win here, folks. Going for the pin. The father saves the son. That could have been it. All four men are, well, except JC, because he's barely fought. So all three of four men are very exhausted and tired here. Oh my god, the father keeps almost getting them disqualified. He needs to chill. DDT to the big man. Very strategic. Nixie sees down the ring the hardcore title holder. Sonar Star. Oh my god, the dream match. Nixie C and E. coli. The two high flying lads. The agility. What is he doing to Nixie C? Oh my god, Nixie C never felt power like that before from his fellow high flyer. He's going for the pin. Oh my lord. Critical using his body as protection. What's Boogie doing here? Oh my god! He's putting E. coli in the. Oh, never mind. I thought he was doing a sharpshooter. He's doing this weird surfers move. Boogie dragging E. coli around. The lifeless body. Uh oh. Going for a pin here, folks. The Doom family almost got the win. I believe the ref is catching on. That's why the teams aren't able to help kick him out. Oh, he cool I made Boogie bleed. Boogie's now crawling, but he cool I does not show mercy. Oh, he cool I almost got the move of death. 
diamond cutter out of nowhere. I'm sure that's not a diamond cutter. I'm gonna call it that anyways. A neck breaker, whatever it's called. The father in E. coli. A shame Nick CC and E. coli aren't fighting more often in this match. But nonetheless, this is phenomenal. This is any team's match here. Bringing the father, ma making the father bleed nonetheless. Tagging in Watchman here. Now, if y'all don't remember, the team voice actually beat JC and the father last time. Can they do this again, or will the Doom family redeem themselves? Oh my god. Watchman's on the ropes here. The father. What on earth? He Look at this man! Watchman is not expecting that. Boogie is tagged in. I guess JC is never going to fight again. Watchman though, running clothesline like a, kind of like a bayonet attack in Battlefield 1 here. My god, Boogie knows Watchman's fighting style now. Bringing Watchman to the danger zone. Nick CC is tagged in now. What are they doing to Watchman? Oh my lord! Using their ropes as a weapon. Is that legal? Nick CC going to the top. What? Okay. He could have reached that. I don't know why he didn't. The strength. But the slipperiness of Nick CC. The suplex. Nixie's fired up. Does he know Critical is tagged in? He wouldn't be so fired up here. Nixie C throwing. Nixie C's taking out both men at once. What a madman. Does he even know that Watchman isn't the legal man here? Critical giving Nixie C a concussion. Critical's gonna rip Nixie C's head off here. Someone needs to help him. He's gonna tap. Where's his team? Oh my god. Those absolute wankers. Where was Nick CC's brothers in arms and father? Just a quick roll up that could have been it. There's a debuting the father's elbow. The super kick. Look at this star studded ring. The winners, the, the tag team champs, and the heroes together. Who could defeat these four men? Who knows? Will these four men team up in the future? Who knows? But ladies and gentlemen, that was a crazy match. Any man's match right there. Oh no. We're getting word that Dr. Chaos is attacking Sonar Star after their match. Now, recently the villains have been making a comeback. Bounty actually successfully attacked Watchman, and the Shadow Spirit successfully attacked Sonar Star. So now Doctor Chaos is going after Sonar Star, since he's the only powerful, the person with powers on the roster. It seems like it makes sense for two people to come after the Sonar Star. Of course, they have not gone after the hero yet, but who knows at this point? The heroes can be joining them for all I care. Sonar Star does seem to get a good grip on Dr. Doom here, Dr. Chaos. Oops, I don't want to get copyrighted. My god. Chaos is known for his magic, but when it comes to hand to hand combat, he does not do that well. Sonar Star is moving at throwing him in the ring. This is not a beneficial match. Not even a ref. What was that? <laughs> Doctor Chaos. I don't know how he's even lifting Sonar Star. What a madman! Split him in half. Wow, he's just slamming his head into the canvas. The villains have been successful in every attack. What is this? Using his powers 
to get superhuman strength. I don't think that's fair. Oh my lord, he's using his levitation powers against Solar Star here. Oh my gosh, Dr. Chaos Solar Star to rip Solar Star's head off. Dr. Chaos did make a mistake, I don't know if he wants the match. Solar Star barely did anything. So it's probably best. What was I talking about? I don't even know what I was talking about, but Solar Star is insane. Oh, Solar Star might rip Dr. Chaos's head off tonight here, but he slips out of it to his own force. The suplex. Solar Star showing his superhuman strength against this immortal Dr. Chaos. My god. A face breaker, Dr. Chaos. Okay, never mind, I got too ahead of myself. Both men encounter each other, but so Solar Star is on top. Oh my gosh! Going to the top rope now. The turnbuckle. There is no way he hit that bully flop for the rest of the time. Solar Star is a madman, he has all these specials lined up. Oh, the Doctor Chaos quickly elbows, ruining Sonar Star's momentum. Of course, Sonar Star is displaying his strength. What a humble man he is. Oh my god, Doctor Chaos. It's been nice knowing you, buddy. Solar Star actually successfully defended himself this time. The Essentials won the World Conquerors 2. And that was a pretty quick beat down there. Like I said, Dr. Chaos isn't a good fighter. He's a good magician. He's a good sorcerer, supreme, everything. My god. Sonar Star is a madman. I just don't understand how he'd somehow withstand an attack. I don't understand why he's celebrating. This isn't an official match. I don't know why the announcer said he's the winner. There's no winners in these matches. I don't know. That's my little rant. Now we have a match. A mean event tier match here. We got V2 versus the Big Po. Now V2 knows who the Big Po is. He actually got punched by the face by him recently. But V2 knows how much of a threat the Big Po is. And because of that, V2 put on his special gear he faces when it comes to high threats. So this definitely is going to be very humbling to the Big Show. Especially if he learns about this. If he does learn about that conspiracy theory. I don't even know what I'm saying, ladies and gentlemen. Like I said before in the history, V2 was created to defeat the most powerful entity we have, who is Vince, the owner, the founder of the company. Even to this day, we don't know who built V2. We don't know who gave him his software or his armor, but whoever built him, if, any, if it's ever found out, that secret comes out, they will be executed by Vince himself. I don't blame him. If you were told that a machine was created specifically to kill you, would you want to take out its creator? Or would you be like, oh, that's cool? I would honestly do the first thing, because why would you praise that? You know, I don't want to die. Especially by a terrifying machine like V, cold-blooded. He doesn't even have blood. Cold-oiled. Big Poe coming off a huge 
his loss. Of course, he's no longer the undisputed champ. Some would say under controversial circumstances, because AA didn't even fight. He just literally went to the top of the ladder and got the title within the first few minutes of the TLC match. So very disappointing, but the Big Poe will get his revenge at Royal Rumble. Oh my god, look at this threat. The Big Poe is a massive lad. I gotta say, he looks good without the title, but man, I do miss him as the face. But maybe he'll get it back at the War Rumble. He had a very long reign with it. It's kind of a disappointing end for the reign. So it'd be cool if he does get the title back from AA at Royal Rumble. Am I doing good at sponsoring our upcoming pay-per-views? I'll say it more often if you want me to, ladies and gentlemen. As long as we get the cash. The hold hard cash and moolah. Now V2. Big Po and V2 are two of the most powerful men we have on the roster. Combined, even with the Mean Federation. So this will be an interesting match here. Whoever wins will go over one of another. In the power rankings. So if V2 wins, he will go over the Big Po. If the Big Po wins, he will go over V2. So everything... Uh, Everything matters tonight when it comes to statisticals. My lord. Look at these two. This is a symbiomania level match here. V2 slipping out of the big post grass. V2 kicking the big post. Going to the top rope now. What on earth? V2 literally levitated for a few seconds. I'm not the only one that saw that. Now V2, the strikes, the brutality, the combos. Oh my gosh. And the big bow is trying to hide his face. Whoa, the big bow, the strength. Now this is a souped up V2. I mean, this V2 is stronger than ever. And for the big foe to be tossing him around like that is insane. Look at this. The strength. V2 is programming. They don't even know what to do against this. The big foe is a whole new monster. No one can predict what he's going to do next. Oh my god. What is he doing? What was that? The leg breaker. The ankle breaker. Ankle strainer. Oh, the big Poe also kind of levitated. Oh, V2 is not happy with that. Lights out for the big Poe there. Oh, v is going to the top. Oh, the big Poe narrowly avoiding that d diving move. Oh. V2, very strategic and tactical with his moves. A punch to the face of the Big Pro. And now, what? Oh my god. V2 has this in the bag. But he's not going for the pin. Oh my god. What? V2, a tombstone to the Big Pro. The big pose is extremely tall, over seven feet to be exact. Although I guess it's not to be exact. I didn't give you specific inches, but you know what I mean. The big pose is an absolute unit. My God. My God. Father V2. Truly a mash of powers here. This is a main event level 
match here, but I believe this is a pay-per-view event match. A big boot out of nowhere. What's going on here? Oh my god, that's a entrance. Oh, uh, wait, is he here? He's not here, but he's definitely trying to play mind games. RV2 is standing on his feet. Paul almost got murdered with that tombstone, but was so quick. V2 cannot connect. Look at these combos. But also look at these combos. The big post, the big man going for the pin. My god. This can go any direction, folks. I legitimately don't know. Oh my lord, V2! But now the big toe. Tactical here. Oh, V2 using the technology to turn the lights out. To get jumped like that, like a giant man, like the big toe, that's gotta be terrifying. Oof. Throwing V2 around. Oh, this might be it for V2 here. Oh my god. How'd he even get out of that? Of course, this is V2 we're talking about. He can kick out of literally anything. So can Big Bo. Oh, a body splash by Giant Man the Big Bo. Shut down from clotheslines. Oof. What on earth? Vichu very strategic with his moves here. What is he doing here? Oh my god, V2 is going to hit the big ball with the tombstone. Of course, the big ball is so tall. He naturally goes under the ropes here. But I don't know if he can get out of this. Okay, never mind, he can. Ropes right there. My god, the big puts in the stars after that. Now they are beating the Doom family right in front of. Oh my god. Also, I don't know what I just said about the Doom family. My head hurts and I'm half asleep. Throwing V2. Oh, this has to put it away. There's no way the big pro hits this twice and doesn't get a win. V2 is no ordinary man. He can kick out of everything. Even the big pro is surprised. A big boot out of nowhere. V2 might be running low on gas. Oh my god, he's gonna hit V2 again. This has got to be it. If this doesn't get the win. Oh my god, that was a brutal match. The big push showing his dominance. Even after A came out briefly to distract him, the big push still came out on top. What a legend. The big boot of doom. I think the Big Co is the next world champion. He's had a long reign and I think it'd be a waste to not make him one again for an even longer reign. The Big Co is going to get his title shot in the match and his revenge on AA for this controversy that's been going on. We hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you next time on the SSWE Networks.